Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One, my old barn door, and I am still doing a craft with me videos, working on my ring binders, and I'm still working on belly bands. So um, I found this beautiful, beautiful piece of lace, and I thought how pretty it would be on this colored page, and I'm not real, you know, the duck's not super cute to me, so I don't mind covering him up. So I'm gonna do something simple and just, you know what? I think I want to put something behind it just to give it a little more stability. So let's do that. Let's just take a piece of this. Let me scoot some stuff out of my way. I'm just going to scoot my rain binder over. And I'm just going to see what it looks like on this piece of white paper. I think it will be okay to do it on this white um, paper. And that way, it just gives it a little more stability. So let's do this. And then I'm just going to add some Fabri-Tac onto onto my paper there. And then I'm just going to lay this right down over the top of it. Never can figure out which is the back or the front side of the lace. Alright, so we're just going to lay that down in there. And that way it just gives it a little more stability as a belly band. And then I think what I want to do, I found... I have these beautiful vintage yo-yos that my sweet friend Sarah sent to me. And so, um, wouldn't it be pretty to just cut a little strip and put them on that belly band like that? So let's do that. So I'm just going to go through and cut these apart. I kind of hate cutting them apart after some sweet lady. Spent all her time sewing this together. It's so pretty. I think this would be super cute as a pocket in one of the journals. I may have to do that. There we go. And then we can just add that to there. Won't that be pretty? All right. Decision made. We're just going to add some Fabri-Tac right down the middle and I'm going to put a pretty good little strip of it so that I make sure it holds on to the yo-yos real good. Something has bit my foot. I think a mosquito has got in my house. Are y'all having problems with that this year? Like every time my front door opens, like it's like the bugs just fly in. Flies and mosquitoes and I'm constantly, I got a fly flapper in my craft room because <laughs> Every time I turn around, there's a fly in my house. It drives me insane. I hate it. Okay, so let's see what this is going to look like. But something has bit my foot and it's itching like crazy. Let's bring this back over and instead of stitching it on, I'm just going to glue it on. Line it up to the edges, and how pretty is that? Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Okay, so I like that. So I think that's, I'll put three belly bands in this journal. I think that's plenty of belly bands for this journal. So I'm just going to grab another journal, and we'll make some more belly bands for those journals. Hang on for me. Let me grab them. Okay, we have this one, so let's just go through and find a cute page where we'd like, let's put a belly band here on this page, like the pages that just have words on them, they don't have a picture or something. I like putting, you know, belly bands or a pocket or something on those pages, and that way it gives it something pretty. So, let's just add a belly band to this one. So, I've cut some strips out of my vintage ribbon scans, 
and then my my border strips or whatever and so let's just use let's use this one I think this will be cute as a belly band on this page so I'm gonna I'm just going to tear this at the edge. Make sure it's lined up good down here. For some reason, I always seem to get my belly bands crooked. Okay. And then don't throw that away because that's super cute. I mean, you can use that as an embellishment or something on a page. All right. And then let's just ink around the edges of this one. Grunge it up pretty good. Okay, and then I'm going to add some lace to the edge. I have this pretty little piece of lace. Let me just Scoop some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, sorry for moving the camera. Okay. My sweet friend Nan sent this to me, and I think it's so pretty. And would that be pretty on the edge of that? Yep. Let's do that. All right. So I'm just going to measure a couple pieces out, and then we can trim them up after we get them on the belly band. Okay. And I'm just going to use a little thin bead of glue again. You can stitch it if you want to, but I like I like doing it both ways and sometimes gluing it's just faster. Always just like to make sure I get it in the glue good. I want to let that sit there and dry for a minute. I was really trying to not cover up my my rooster so much, but we'll see. Maybe it won't cover it up too bad. Okay, and we're just gonna lay that down into the glue. that dry for a second. I better put my cat, I mean my little pen back in here. And then we'll just turn this over and trim them down. Super cute. And then we'll put some glue on the back. Well, the bottom and the top of the back. And then we can put him right here as a belly band. And that just adds a little something to that page to where it's uh, not just plain words. All right. While we have this out, let's just go ahead and use it because why not? Squirrel. <laughs> so I'm just going to trim it down and ink around it. But this is how you get rid of the scraps and things that you have laying on your desk. You just kind of play with them until they go away. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's put him right here in the corner. Because why not? We'll just glue him there. Ooh, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera. 
My honey is supposed to be putting me a board up, but, um, well, y'all know how it is, getting your honey to do your to-do list, so. <laughs> we'll get there eventually, bless his heart. He, he does have to go every weekend. He goes down and takes care of his mom and makes sure that she has everything that she needs, gets her groceries and checks on her oxygen levels and things like that, and I mean, of course, he checks on her every day through the week, too, but he actually goes down there on on the weekend, so that usually takes up a whole day, so I don't fuss at him too much. Okay, now, we've used that little piece so it doesn't go to waste and it doesn't get lost on our desk or cloud up our desk. All right, let's go find us another spot for a billy band. And you know, with these strips from the kits, the vintage ribbon scans, and um, like the these little um, belly band strips from the kit, they're super cute to use them as like little side tucks too. Like this would be cute here. You know what? Why not? Let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Hmm. Ooh, you know what would be cute? Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna take this out. I know I said we're doing belly bands, but y'all know how I am. You can't help it. All right. We're just gonna tear him off. And we're gonna keep that extra piece because we might use it somewhere. And then, let's just get rid of the white. That didn't tear real good, did it? We fix it. So, we can put this here and use it as like a little side tuck to just tuck a little something in but how about if we put a piece of lace that comes off the edge of the page I think that would be super cute let me find a piece of lace or trim I have this cute little red ruffly trim let's use a piece of it would that be cute like that I think so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this pocket down so I'm just gonna go here and here and here and it'll make it a little tuck whoops I just took my finger right in that glue didn't I wipe it off my hand or I'll have it everywhere okay so we're just going to take it to the edge here and glue that down and then I'm going to take a little piece, or a little piece, a little bit of fabri tac glue and just go right down the edge of it. And then we'll just lay our little trim. I'm going to trim this edge off because it's, it's a little wonky. That made a mess everywhere. And we'll just lay that right down into that fabri -Tac glue. We'll let it dry for just a second. And then trim him off. Here we go. So see, you can use these as tucks or belly bands, either way you want to use them. And now you have a little tuck, super cute. Okay, moving on, let's find another spot that needs a belly band, because I have a couple of more different kinds of belly bands that I want to do. I don't want to do them all the same. 
I want them to be different. Hang on, let me find a page. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all another belly band that I had done. This one's super cute. Um, it's basically just little um, embellishments added to a clear piece of acetate or like this. What I used for this is a transparency. Um, and then you can just take something and, okay, that's not gonna fit. Let me find a journaling card or something. Okay, we'll just use this envelope for now. But you can just slide it up under the belly band and then you have that cute um, little belly band that pokes up and you're able to you can actually stuff a lot in there now this one um, once you get get it stuffed it's, it's gonna hold good uh, but I thought we could make one of these real quick so let's do that um, let me just scoop this one out of the way because I don't want two of those in the same journal so we'll put one here and I've picked this out some goodies to go on the acetate and then we have this piece here I might not have a long enough piece I might have to find a shorter a shorter page to put it on let's see hang on okay I think it'll fit on this one so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut about a two inch strip out of my um, my acetate let me just grab my trimmer real quick. And I'm just going to go to two inches. Trim that off. And then I just need to kind of... I'm just going to take this page out. This is the lazy man's way of doing it, but this is how I'm going to do it. And line it up this way. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and trim it off here at the bottom. And I've cut some of the paper, but that's okay. Okay. So now we just need to add our goodies to our strip. So I like to actually lay it on the page so that I can see how the goodies show up on the page. So we're gonna lay this on the, oh, that is very bad. <laughs> I should have closed the rings. The good thing about the ring binders are, they go right back in. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, get in there, now. <laughs> All right, so we will have him here. And so let's just take our little goodies. I have some Tim Holtz goodies and some butterflies and some little embellishments. Whoops, let's just see what they look like. So like, see here with this little butterfly, you can actually make him 3D. So he can go there. What else do we have? Let's do a little ticket right here. Um. Let's see, we've got this piece. Let's do this piece right here with a little ticket over it. And then, what else do we have? We have a butterfly. And I love the little girl. Ooh, let's put the little girl like right here with her little flag. And then we can do something like um, our little number piece here with this little ticket here and we can just scoot that down a little and then our belly band is decorated and it's super cute so then once I get the, get it laid out the way I want it I think I might want to add that underneath the butterfly what do you think let me look at it through the camera oh you can't I'm sorry. I don't even have you in frame good. I apologize. I think that'll be super cute. So I'm going to pull this off. And basically all I do is just stitch down the center to make sure everything gets held on. And then I stitch the edges of the belly band to the page. 
I'm not going to try and take you over to the sewing machine because it would just be way too much trouble. Um, but I'll bring it right back and show you what it looks like when I'm done. Hang on. Oh, I did want to tell y'all, you can put a tiny bit of glue in behind them just to hold them long enough for you to get them to the sewing machine to stitch them. Let me see if I can. I'm scared to turn it over because I'm scared they'll all dump off. But see, I've just put little bitty tiny bits of glue on the back of there to hold it so I can sew it. So hang on. I'm going to sew. Okay, so it's all stitched on. And it looks so cute on that paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in the rings. And then you can fold up this butterfly and make him look 3D. Like he's coming off the page. It'd be super cute to have a little something sticking underneath. You know, like if you have something in the belly band. Super cute. So whatever's underneath the belly band will show through. So there's that one. And I have one more I think we might have time to do on video before we cut this one off. And then I'll finish the rest of them off camera. So hang on and let me switch out journals and I'll be right back. Okay, before I do this last one, I was just going to give you a few more ideas of things that you can use for belly bands. So you can use your collage, your masterboard collages. You know, those are super cute to use for belly bands. You can use ribbon and I plan on using some of this ribbon. <laughs> as a belly band in some of these journals and you can use the snippet rolls that my friend Sarah makes um, you you know if they're too wide you can trim them down and make them whatever width you want to make them but these make super cute belly bands as well so just some more ideas and then the last one I want to do I'm going to take some of my ribbon scans and we're going to make a belly band here I'm just going to take this little strip of paper. It's just going to be my base. So I'm going to move the journal out of the way. And we're going to take some of these um, vintage ribbon scans that I have in my Etsy shop. And uh, we're just going to tear some pieces out and make this a torn. Like here is that piece that I tore or that I cut off of that other belly band or the little tuck that we used. So I'm just going to tear around it. And it doesn't all have to be torn. It's according to your preference. And you can ink the edges or you can not ink the edges. Again, it's all according to your preference. But let's just ink the edges on this one. I just want to play and have a little fun. Because why not? Okay, so I'm just going to get me some pieces ready. So let's see. I'm not going to use that one. Or that one. Let's use some of this one. You know what I'm going to do? I am just going to. Now this is done. These are printed on um, cardstock paper. Um, if you want to tear them and make it a little easier for them to tear, um, then you can print it out on just regular printer paper. and It'll be easier for them to tear. It's all, all according to what you want to do. Okay. All right, so hang on, and I'm going to get some of these torn out, and I'll come back and show you how we're going to do it. Okay, so now we have them all ripped out, and then I think I want to go ahead and ink the edges of all of them. And again, you can ink the edges of all of them, or you don't have to ink the edges of all of them. But I just kind of want to really grunge it up and make it look old and vintage and grungy and... So let me finish inking them and I'll be right back. Okay, we have all of the edges done. So now all I'm gonna do is just run a bead of glue on my strip. Now I'm gonna kind of put it to the side because I'm gonna stitch, but if you're not gonna stitch, then you don't have to put it to the side. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna kind of put these on here, all kinds of cattywampus ways and sideways and long ways and just make them you know look like they're just kind of pieced together whoops like so 
and then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch it. Hang on. Okay, so we have it all stitched on now. It's super cute. And then we'll just bring our journal back over and take our glue, put a little at the top. And a little at the bottom. I like to leave my strings on. If you don't like that, you can cut them off. And we'll just lay it down on our paper. And I don't mind if it sticks out a little. Just make sure, you know, that your glue is not sticking it to the page behind it or in front of it or whatever. There we go. And then we have a cute little belly band. And that goes super cute with this. I absolutely love this page right here with the old car and the barn in the background. Love, love, love this. And then on the back you have a barn in the winter time. So this looks super cute with that and it dresses up this plain white page. So those are some ideas to do some belly bands with. I hope y'all are having fun and enjoying the process. I'm going to save these and make another belly band out of them for my other journal. And I hope y'all have enjoyed the process. Um, I hope y'all are enjoying the craft with me. And I hope you're crafting along with me. So I'm going to end the video here. And um, leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.